Well, I thought you guys and girls out there would appreciate one more video, so I thought I might as well just throw it out there. Sir Owen Disney here, and it is 11 p.m., which means we are four hours away from when I have to be up in order to catch a flight at 6 a.m. It is about an hour and 10, 15 minutes, give or take a few, away from the airport that I'm going to be going to from here. So, needless to say, I have to get up early. Um, so, there's going to be a lot, and I do mean a lot of content in the next two weeks. And if you have anything you want to see on this channel in the next couple weeks, then by all means... Remember the whole steez I do at the very end of the video where I say, if you like these videos, tell them about blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Well, definitely pay attention to that because that can help you uh, give me an idea what you want to see. So, I've had the magic band on since Friday, actually, Friday morning, and uh, pretty good, actually. I've gotten so used to it, I don't even realize I'm wearing it anymore, so... We're good on that, and uh, all's ready to go. I've got this one, and actually, I've got this, which is my camera bag. I've got another one. I've got another one as well. That's another magic band. So, everything is packed, except for, um, actually, my uh, flip-flops are just really strange. Uh, they're not packed right now, but everything else is good to go. I'm going to try to get a little bit of sleep, but before I do, I want to go over a couple of things. So this is going to be a little bit of a, uh, a countdown video, if you will. I want to talk about all sorts of different things. What's going on with Pop the next couple of weeks, what's going on with Pop in general, videos you have to look forward to in the near future, and uh, also I want to talk about Halloween Horror Nights before we leave. So, uh, yeah. I was not able to do a Halloween Horror Nights uh, video, so I guess I'm going to kind of toss that in here as well. So, for those of you that like these hodgepodge videos I post, this is going to be just for you. So, I will start with this. Everything is good to go. Like I said, I have a flight at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I will be flying out of a Charleston, West Virginia airport. I believe it's Chuck Yeager Airport. And I will be flying to um, Dulles, which is uh, outside of Washington, D.C. And then Dulles to uh, my favorite airport in the world, the Orlando Airport. So I'll be touching down about 1036. Hopefully I'll get in a little bit earlier. That'd be awesome because that happened in December. That was amazing. And I actually have a dining reservation at... Um, Liberty Tree Tavern will be the first time I've ever been there, and that's going to be about 1240. So, yeah, we got that to look forward to. Actually, I'll tell you what it's like because I've got my little notebook here. There is a lot of stuff on here. I mean, I'm actually looking at it right now. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. I thought it was 1240. Let me check. I might be wrong. Yeah. Anyway, and uh, of course, I've got. How we normally do here, I have the sci-fi on uh, tomorrow night, so that's going to be awesome. And I check into the Jumbo House at Animal Kingdom Lodge Villas. I'm very excited about that. It's going to be awesome. On the 25th, I check out of Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I go to my home away from home. Yes, it's no coincidence the channel name is Pop. My favorite resort is Pop Century, and I will be checking in there on the 25th. I'll be there till the 1st. And then, of course, I check out on the 1st, and I return again 64 days later, checking into the villas at the Grand Floridian on December 4th. So, we've got a lot of stuff to do this next two weeks, and I have basically took a lot of things into account, and I will be at Halloween Horror Nights uh, this coming weekend on Friday and Saturday night. On Friday night, I am uh, chilling out with the Tim Tracker, and we're going to be checking out opening night. Uh, there's going to be an annual pass holder event. starts at 5 o'clock. We're going to get into um, Afterlife's Death's Vengeance, La Llorona, and uh, The Walking Dead, No Safe Haven. So those all will be taken care of way before anybody gets in to the park. And I wanted to be able to uh, 
check out all the scare zones or the set. They're not really set scare zones, but I guess they kind of are. Different uh, variations of events and things involving The Walking Dead. Obviously, you guys know I do not watch The Walking Dead. I never have watched The Walking Dead, so a lot of this will be lost on me. But I'm still going to try to get the best footage I possibly can for you guys. And on Saturday, uh, thanks to uh, the Tim Tracker again and to uh, Universal for letting us have a special YouTube meetup. And this is going to allow us to film inside the houses. And it's only for one night only. So I will be shooting, I will be shooting the houses with my uh, Nexus tablet. I've checked it out. I've got like this hand strap on the back of the leather case for it. So I'm going to be able to hold that. And I've already tested it out. Like if I get scared, someone jumps in front of me and like, like startles me and it jumps backwards. I'm not going to drop the device. So we're good to go on that. So uh, thanks to Universal for uh, letting us film in the houses. I'm very excited about that. Really excited about Bill and Ted this year, and uh, very, very excited for the return of the uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show tribute, which I'm very excited for. I actually watched it on YouTube earlier today, so I hope I'm able to film that. I'm going to try my best to film that. I do want to go uh, Rocky Horror several times. I want to go be, do the shoutbacks and enjoy myself. And I also want to go and just film for you guys. So uh, you don't hear me yell out different things that you would not normally hear Sir Owen Disney say on this channel. And I'm going to throw this out here as well. For those of you that have never heard me really curse, I mean really, really curse... There is a very, and I do mean a very, good possibility you're going to hear it on the Halloween Horror Nights house videos that I'm shooting on my birthday Saturday. Because, obviously, because I'm not a horror guy, I, uh, I'm a little bit apprehensive about a couple of things. I've been listening to a couple of things. I'm very excited about everything. And, uh... Actually, right as we speak, there is the uh, employee preview, which is being uh, done at this very moment. It's actually running for another two hours. So, uh, well, give or take a few, honestly. They've been having a lot of really great responses from both the houses and the scare zones. And uh, some mixed reactions to Bill and Ted this year. So, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. So, um. Oh, by the way, if you were curious, I am actually on iOS 7 right now. It didn't take me very long, about 25, 30 minutes to uh, upload everything. So everything's great. I'm getting kind of used to it. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Android operating system, and I think it probably is supposed to. So I'm kind of used to that because I'm working with the uh, tablet, and the tablet is an Android tablet, obviously. And obviously I finally did get my Disney experience on there, so that is awesome. So... Let's talk about what's going on in the next couple weeks. Uh, I will be at uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party on uh, September 24th. And I will... I'm tentatively going back on the 27th. I haven't quite decided yet. I have my Rush of Fear pass, so I could go to Halloween Horror Nights that night. Or I could go to Mickey's Not So Scary. I mean, it'd be a crazy thing to do, and I would probably think twice about doing it, but I could technically do both. But I really wouldn't be able to do anything past the uh, employee, well, not the employee, but the uh, annual pass holder event that opens at five. I'd only be able to do three houses, and I wouldn't be able to do, like, Bill and Ted or anything like that because I wouldn't have time. So I don't know. I still haven't quite decided. It kind of depends on how this coming weekend goes, uh, and just depending on if I end up returning or not. I might, I might not. I haven't quite decided yet. A lot, and I do mean a lot of plans this week. I have a lot of things to do, and I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to let the weather get me down. I have a poncho, I have a raincoat, I have an umbrella. I am good to go, so I'm going to be uh, carrying my Disneyland backpack with all my awesome uh, electronical devices in it, and I'm going to hopefully be taking advantage of what Ricky Briganti brought up on Twitter tonight, and that is the brand new free Wi-Fi at Universal. That is awesome. So that will help us considerably uh, in uploading videos to uh, here on Pop. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So in the next couple weeks, I have pretty much decided I am going to be doing 
a lot of walkthroughs and ride-throughs of different attractions. I plan on getting a new version of Wishes on here. I plan on getting the Boo to You Halloween Parade from uh, Mickey's Not So Scary on here. I plan on getting Hallow Wishes on here. I plan on getting Celebrate the Magic on here. I plan on getting Illuminations on here, which I had an amazing view of Illuminations thanks to Len last year at Reunion, and I really want to get a better view of it with my tablet this time. So I'll be taking a lot of videos with the tablet. They may not go up immediately, but I will make sure they go up as soon as I possibly can. I don't know how it's going to be to upload to YouTube. I have not tried to upload a video to YouTube yet from the tablet, but I will probably take care of that as quick as I can. I will be shooting Phantasmic actually tomorrow night, so if uh, weather permits, I'm going to be uh, shooting Phantasmic tomorrow night, as long as I'm able to make it in there on time. We are doing uh, Unmasking the Horror Tours on my birthday. I'm actually doing both tours, the uh, 10.30 and the 2 o'clock, and I kind of wish I was able to do those tours before Friday night and opening night so I didn't have to uh, go into something blind. Because obviously, as everyone knows, I'm really, really, really uh, kind of apprehensive about a couple of things involving uh, Cabin in the Woods and Resident Evil. As you all know out there, I am not a fan of uh, reptilian creatures, if you will. Um, I tell you right now, I do know about the giant one in a Cabin in the Woods originally, and I did see the picture that was posted on one of the Facebook pages about a giant one in uh, Resident Evil, but I hope that they don't go that direction. I think they might, though, and I'm kind of worried about that. So it would be nice to be able to do lights on before... I end up going into it and filming, but I may not get that opportunity. So it just kind of depends on what Tim wants to do. I'm going to be pretty much uh, hanging out with him on Friday night, and I'm excited about that. I'm going to basically spend the weekend of my 32nd birthday with the Tim Tracker. So I'm going to be hanging out with Tim and Jen and uh, all the awesome uh, YouTube updaters, the Horror Nights updaters, as well as the various other YouTube channels in the Orlando area. That's going to be awesome. So, I'll talk more about Halloween Horror Nights in a minute. Um, I will get ride videos for Transformers. I've planned on that. I am planning on doing Antarctica at SeaWorld. I cannot do roller coasters, obviously, because I don't have a way to shoot those. And I'm a little apprehensive to do Tower of Terror, so I can't really shoot that either. But, I will shoot as much as I possibly can. You will have a daily video. You will probably get a lot more videos than you can even think you're going to get. If you remember how many videos we shot in December when we started this thing... I would probably say it's going to be a lot more than that, to say the least. I cannot get video of Bill and Ted, obviously, because their universal will probably light me on fire for their own personal enjoyment if I did. So, uh, yeah, I can get Bill and Ted. I will try to get Rocky Horror as best I can. I will try to get all the scare zones as best I can. And I will also make sure that I have all eight houses, because we're getting uh, kind of VIP treatment on Saturday, so that's going to be awesome. On my birthday of all days, so that's perfect. So... We're good on that. All right, other things we want to talk about. Um, I will have Cinematic Spectacular on here. I uh, plan on getting, an, I, getting a new version of that because apparently the last time I shot this thing, it did really well. So, yeah, there's always that. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, it won't be... It'll be in December, actually. I'll get the SeaWorld Christmas events. I plan on doing that. I plan on trying to take some video at SeaWorld as much as I can. It's kind of hard because I never know when I'm going to get splashed. So, who knows? And uh, we got that taken care of. Uh, when we come back, we're going to have a lot, and I do mean a lot of videos, uh, a lot of movie reviews. We are taking, obviously, the next two weeks off for AJ's movie reviews. I think the next week off, actually, because, well, two weeks, I'll be gone for two weeks, and we're taking next week off. Because this week, I actually have a video that's going to go up on Friday before I go over to Universal. And that is The Spectacular Now, Austin Land, and Ain't Them Body Saints. That's going to be talked about. It's about an hour-long video. We talked about that. And we got a brand new Versus for the next two weeks. So we actually shot two Versus that uh, you can check out on this channel for the next two weeks. So on September 22nd and on 29th, you're going to be able to uh, see Versus. The cryptic comments are Childhood and Adrenaline, respectively. And coming in October... Pop will be all about the horror films and the horror genre for the verses, so that's something to look forward to. Molly will be joining us back when I return in October, and uh, we'll be getting video in the near future from Ben and uh, 
Eventually, we'll have something from Will. Actually, uh, Pop goes to SmackDown October 8th. So, uh, me, Will, and Ben are going to SmackDown in Columbus. So, we'll have a video from that. So, that's something to look forward to. All right. So, I will also give my opinions on how I like FastPass Plus and how I like the Magic Band experience. And there will be a lot of really awesome stuff. I'll have a lot of stuff from Reunion in December, but we're not there yet. We're still in September. So, I got to stick. Oh, and go start my trip by trip. So, um, uh, right, okay, so, uh, sorry, I'm reading, uh, Ricky Briganti's, uh, Twitter post, I'm still trying to find if the, uh, giant snake is in that cabin in the woods or not, don't know if it is or not, I, apparently, a lot of people are saying that the elevator is pretty much identical, so that would have to equal that, but I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen with that, I guess we'll find out, and, uh, unfortunately, I will find out for my own on Friday, because no one will probably dump me before then. So, we got that, and um, I do want to mention another thing, too, that I will have videos for tomorrow from the airports. I will. I don't think I'll get one in Charleston, what's the point? I'll probably have one in D.C. if I have time, and uh, when I touch down in Orlando and I reach Disney property, we are going to have a I'm walking to my room video, which I'm going to uh, travel to a uh, Wherever my villa is a Jumbo house, and I will uh, show you guys my room, and then we'll go out to the parks, we'll have some fun. I'll uh, hopefully do Fantasmic tomorrow night, and then, of course, Friday night we got Halloween Horror Nights. I'm going to try to get some Scare Zone stuff as much as I can. I'm going to try to film some video. I might end up having some uh, dual stuff with Tim. I don't know. It depends on how it works. And I'm really excited about the uh, Legendary Truth uh the collective game and being able to play it in park due to the uh, rush of fear pass I have. The great thing about it is, is it kind of works like the RFID chips in my magic band. There's going to be some sort of an RFID card of some sort. We don't know what it is yet. And there are legendary truth logos on a, on a stick outside each house. And they're very themed towards uh, obviously the house you just walked through. And uh, that's how you get your points. And can earn badges for Legendary Truth, the collective. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be amazing. So I <clears throat> want to shoot this video out to you guys before I left and um, tell you that I'm probably not going to get much sleep tonight if I do at all. I may end up getting like an hour or two hours. Probably sleep on the plane. Now. That's probably what I'll do anyway. So let's talk about anticipation, of course. Let's talk about my uh, thoughts of what I'm wanting to see at Halloween Horror Nights this year. Uh, obviously, no snakes. That's a big one right there. Um, I pretty much tripped over my own feet when I'm normal, when I'm walking around, and I don't have the lay of the land universal yet. I'm getting it, but I don't have it yet. I'll need a couple more trips so I can uh, know my way around, like the back of my hand, like I do with Disney property. But I will say right now that the fog last year was unbearable. And I don't, I know it's part of the ambiance, it makes total sense to me, and the chainsaw noises and the various horror movie themes, soundtracks and stuff like that, Midnight Syndicate, all those deals, but no, way too hard to see around, so uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at that. I uh, look forward to seeing what's going on with Scare Zones. I kind of want to, personally, I want to videotape the scare, not be a part of it, if that makes any sense at all. I know that's probably completely opposite for what everybody wants, but still, I kind of want to get a good video of the scare of someone else getting scared so I can actually take video of it and not have to worry about getting accosted by a character as well. So uh, I know that's the point. Like, oh, what is the point? I was like, I don't care. I do what I want. So <clears throat> it'll be really easy to find if you guys run into me. Obviously, um, on opening night, I'll be wearing my uh, house shirt from last year. The, of the horror, 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 horrible night I had last year, opening night. So hopefully that uh, team member that screwed me out of meeting Penn and Teller is not going to uh, be there because, yeah, Owen might be banned from Universal Property if that happens. But no, no, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. But I mean, obviously, when it comes down to it, that Jay Brown is the reason why I uh, didn't live the dream I've had ever since I was a little kid. But that's beside the point. So, I'm wearing the house shirt, and on Saturday night, which is my birthday, if you guys uh, say hello to me, wish me happy birthday, it's like, happy birthday, Owen, it's like, thanks, and whoever you are, you're awesome, and uh, just, if you see me, say hello, like, wave over, it's like, oh, and Owen, how you doing, and I was like, oh, hey, and I'll be like, well, I don't have the greatest memory, 
and I can't really remember what people look like, especially not the other YouTubers, which I feel bad about that, but I'm sorry, it's just how it works. So if you see me like Owen or Sir Owen or Yo Disney, I mean, that works too. I mean, hey, Yo Disney, I was like, hey, and I was like, hey, what's up? So uh, if you catch me on Saturday night, I will be wearing my uh, a Wyatt Family t-shirt. So I'm very easy to spot. I'll be wearing a Wyatt Family t-shirt, and I will be... Uh, toting a Disneyland backpack, actually, so that's going to uh, be a really easy way to spot me. So, there's always that. Another thing, um, looking forward to Resident Evil, but still nervous about the, the snake, possibly. I don't know if it's going to be involved or not. I know we've got Liquors and the Cerebus and the Nemesis I know is in there. I love the facade. The facade looks amazing. And uh, looking forward to Resident Evil. Uh, very, very uh, inside about... Uh, Evil Dead, I really like the 2013 remake. It was really good, and i uh, really excited about the house. Just worried about the uh, blood rain uh, ruining the uh, lens of the uh, Nexus. So, who knows if that'll happen? Probably not. Uh, Cabin in the Woods, like I said, I'm extremely excited about it, but I'm very freaking scared about the uh, elevator scene. I'm worried about the giant snake. Uh, hopefully it won't show up. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll be good to go, so we'll be fine on that. I am really excited about American Werewolf in London, given the fact that I just watched it the other day, so it's fresh in my mind. I know exactly what's going to be happening, and I wouldn't have a couple days ago. So I'm hearing it's the scariest house of the year, and I'm very excited to see that. And uh, how it looks interesting, it, I heard it's short, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. And uh, La Llorona, I've got, my, uh, I've got my reservations about it. I'm not a big fan of getting wet. So I hear that you do get wet in the house, so I'm not kind of surprised given the fact that she drowned her children, so obviously water is involved. Uh, Afterlife looks good, and I like the visuals for it. It might be uh, really freaky, and it might be really out there, and that's what everybody's saying it is. So uh, that's interesting. But yeah, I got that taken care of, and um, I watched The Walking Dead walk through, so it doesn't look that bad, so... I should be fine with that. And let's see if I'm missing anything. I don't think I am. And they're like they're probably yelling at their screens right now. It's like <coughs> excuse me. So I'm really excited about this. I'm nervous, but sometimes nerves are good. And uh not always, but sometimes nerves are good. I'm excited to go to Fast Food Boulevard. I'm really excited for uh Curly Fries and Luigi's Pizza. Obviously, the Flaming Mo. Very excited about that. Uh, Cletus's Chicken Shack. Very excited about that. And uh, it's going to be a really, really awesome time. And I'm also excited to become uh, a pass holder again. I'm going to uh, actually... I got this in the mail. Let me make sure I have it with me. Ah, that's this. Man. I got this Universal Orlando Annual Pass Steez. And I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, preferred pass because, you know, it's like less than 30 bucks, so might as well. And I am going to be staying at the Hard Rock Hotel on December 11th next year, uh, this year. So that's been pretty much decided. I'll have my Russia Fear pass. That's going to be exciting and uh, very awesome. I don't know what's going to happen with the ride situation for the next, uh, for the opening weekend of Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, probably just going to mirror it up because I don't have anybody guaranteed to be able to give me a ride to or from. So, I'm probably just going to take mirrors over, so 20 bucks here and there, we're good to go, so. There's always that. Very excited about the houses, very excited about the experience. Uh, interestingly enough, I hear that, uh, actually, I'm the reason this is existing. I went and found out the, uh, the Wizard World um, Comic Con in Columbus, Ohio, where I will be flying out in December, actually, for our reunion. Um, Norman Reedus, he canceled... And he's going to be coming next week. And uh, John Bernthal is going to... Uh, he uh, kind of canceled as well. So, uh, needless to say... Apparently he was filming something. I left a message on uh, Norman Reese's Twitter. Obviously, he's way too busy. Uh, John Bernthal actually responded back to me. So, uh, through Mike Aiello and his Twitter account, it sounds to me like we're getting... Uh, Shane from The Walking Dead, John Bernthal, is going to be in attendance at Halloween Horror Nights on opening night. And uh, apparently Drew Goddard is going to be there promoting Cabin in the Woods. And um, I don't know, uh, Fran Kranz or uh, Chris and Connolly. 
I don't know if they'll show up or not. I'm really hopeful for Richard Jenkins and Bradley Whitford. That'd be awesome. Apparently some people from Capcom promoting uh, Resident Evil. I don't know if um, John Landis is going to show up or not. It'd be really, really awesome to see John Landis, but I, I don't know. And uh, I think that may cover it. Uh, and I don't think Bruce Campbell's going to be showing up or anything like that. I mean, obviously, it's not the right Evil Dead, but I mean, they're like... I mean, if Jane Levy shows up, I know one person on this channel that would be very happy about that, so... Who knows what the celebrity involvement of Halloween Horror Nights is going to be this year on opening night. I do know there's an opening ceremony that I'm going to have to miss because of the uh, annual pass holder <coughs> getting in earlier. So, I'm going to miss that, but apparently it involves walkers and a survivor, so yeah. I'm, I'm not a zombie guy, so I guess we'll find out when we get there, so... Yeah, that's uh, my opinions on uh, what's going on with everything. Uh, it's not really a great Halloween Horror Nights video, but I do want to uh, throw out I want to throw out a uh, a shout out. To be totally honest, I want to uh, get my word. I got to make sure I get this right so I don't make anybody. There we go. I want to uh, throw out some shout-outs to the other uh, members of the Halloween Horror Nights uh, updater community. I want to throw out a shout-out to uh, Dr. Emmett Brown, a.k.a. Vic. I want to throw out a shot to uh, Second Massacre Films and uh, Deadly Fear 1283 and uh, Mr. Horror Nights, The Red Steel TV, uh, HHN Trogdor, a Admiral HHN. I want to throw out a shout-out to the man that is the one half of the reason why Pop exists, and that is Docimo, Dr. Jimmy. So Dr. Jimmy, Dr. James Walker, he is uh, partially the reason why Pop exists, and the other reason Pop exists is Tim and Jen Tracker. So yeah, the Tim Tracker and Dr. Jimmy are the reason why I shoot these videos. So it'll be really awesome to uh, see uh, Tim on Friday and Saturday. It's going to be really cool to hang out with Tim and Jen. Really excited about that. Meet a lot of the other YouTubers. I know uh, the Mighty Thor is going to be there. And it's going to be cool to finally meet Ricky Briganti from uh, Inside the Magic. That's going to be really cool. And uh, hopefully I'll run into a lot of you guys out there uh, that I've not mentioned. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be really awesome. So if you see me, like I say, say, hey, Owen, what's up? And I'll be like, hey, what's up? And <clears throat> I'm just going to end it with that because this has only been 30 minutes. And i got to get some sleep because, to be totally honest, I know I'm not going to, but i got to at least try. So uh, there's always that. Just lay in uh, the bed and just stare up at the ceiling and wait so patiently for 3 a.m. to get here. So I got to leave the house at 3.50. So uh, 3.50 and got to be uh, boarding on the plane about 5.30 tomorrow morning. So it's going to be awesome. And uh, we'll have a lot of really awesome stuff in the next several weeks. And I promise you, we're going to have a lot of really great content on here. And uh, the movie reviews, the verses, the verses will return um, on Sunday like they normally do. The movie review will be returning on this coming Friday on the 20th next week it will not be there obviously i don't have an extra video in the can for it so aj and i will be returning to movie reviews in october actually we're going to be i'm gonna throw this out here we're going to be doing a video of prisoners rush cloudy with a chance of meatballs 2 and don john is one video and we're going to be doing reviews of runner runner and gravity and um, baggage claim and a battle of the year that's going to be in the other video we're also going to be doing horror movie verses all october long and uh, we're going to be doing our second prediction video for uh, the 2014 academy awards ceremony so if you like these videos tell your friends about them leave a comment do subscribe and uh, thumbs up these videos if you want to do that. You're more than welcome to. If you have an idea of something you want to see on Pop, there are three ways to get a hold of me. If you want to tweet me, you're more than welcome to. It's at Sir Owen Disney. Very simple to find. Very easy to find on Twitter. If you want to uh, friend me on Facebook, be my guest. Owen Disney. Very simple to find. A picture of me from Halloween Horror Nights last year drinking a frozen lemonade. And, of course, the last bit of it. If you have anything you want to see on this channel and you want to go a little bit more covert, and you want to send me a message and say a little bit more than the characters of Twitter will let you say, and you don't really want to message me on Facebook, or you want to message me on Facebook, you want to go a little further, you're more than welcome to send me an email, sorrowanddisney at gmail.com. So in the meantime, 
I hope you guys and girls out there enjoyed uh, all the videos I had from Halloween Horror Nights. I got a lot more, and I do mean a lot more, still to come in the next few weeks. I got a lot of Disney content, a lot of Universal content, and not just Halloween Horror Nights, a lot of Universal content. And I'm also going to be doing oh, some SeaWorld content as well, so... Thank you guys and girls out there for watching. I will board the plane in a few hours. And uh, we will see each other again on tomorrow. I will shoot a little couple minute video once I get to uh, the airport in D.C. at Dallas. So I promise that. And in the meantime, until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.